Right, so hello everybody. Welcome to New Moon in Cancer reading together with an update on July's energies. So I've waited to do this reading until the new moon today, which hit around about 12 minutes past one in the morning UK time, because I just really felt like that was the right time to do the reading. And I think this is what I'm gonna do now. Instead of focusing on months, I will just go back to the way that I've always worked with spirit, which is I'll just listen to them and when they want me to bring through whatever it is, the messages that they've got for all of us as a collective. And maybe it might be for a specific group of people, it might be for you on a given day. Um, I'm just gonna go with the flow on that one. So welcome to the video. As always, this video is for you. It's guidance only, it's not to replace medical or professional advice. Um, I'm not a medical professional, so, um, but I do trust spirit and I've been working with them for years and years now. So a uh, collection of different cards that I've got for us. I've got the Muse cards, the Mary Magdalene cards with a nod to the Divine Mother with this Cancer New Moon. I've got the Kuan Yin Oracle by Alana Fairchild. Um, sorry, the Mary Magdalene are by Tony Collins Salerno. The Muse are by Chris Ann. And then I've got the Tarot, which I've got to say, they don't, they have an, they don't have a specific author for these. I actually found these, they came, they dropped off a shelf with me anyway. And the Kuan Yin are the Ilana Fairchild uh, deck. So uh, Kuan Yin is definitely one of my own guides. She might be one of your guides. She's coming through this uh, today to bring messages of uh, based in compassion for self and love for self. So whereas we might be a very self-critical, want to be a perfectionist. Kuan Yin comes in and brings in a, a much needed dose of compassion for all of us, especially right now. So I think the first thing that I just want to do is, and I don't know, I don't know what sound the tuning fork is going to um, emanate, but I just want to bring through uh, a, a clearing of energy. So I heard this morning, this is very much a an energy of clearing our psychic energy it really needs it so this is more of a of a, a massive internal shift this new moon so it's actually very very gentle so just listen to the sound and just accept it allow it to come into your your channel your ears uh, your feelings. You might even get a sensation of your ears popping and that's good because it means the energy is releasing. So this is actually tuning my cards for the reading of whatever spirit wants to bring in. Fabulous. So I really feel that this, there's so many messages I got around this new moon and, but also in this time of, of cancer. So I feel like the first thing that I want to say is that as much as there is light, there's a lot of shadow coming up for healing. I think this is where Kuan Yin coming in and Mary Magdalene. And it's very much around, because um, cancer represents lots of different areas. So it's home, family, gut instincts, it's security, feelings of belonging, protection, tenacity. It's about our security, even financial security. And that's coming up for a lot of people at the moment. It's training and practicing, and it's, I think, one area I really want to talk about is early childhood conditioning, um, as well as growth and nurturing new beginnings. So if there's something coming up around um, a victimhood, why is this happening to me? What, it's always happening for you. It's always happening for your growth. And for those of you that know me, that I've been in the group for a while, will know that, you know, I my aim is to come through with empathy but i'm not somebody that dilly dallies around um 
you know, you can't help people that don't want to be helped. And cancer is very much about that, this energy that we have to want to be helped. We have to accept the help, even if the help comes in a form that we don't think, um, or we've not had before, we have to be receptive to that. Um, because there's a lot of help available to us from spirit. And I think spirit gets such a bad rap when sometimes things aren't working out for us in the way that we expect. But what I will say about it is, is that spirit unconditionally love us and they understand and they will hold that space for us, but they will never ever intrude on our human free will. This is what we came to earth with. This is where our power actually belongs, is in our ability to choose. And if we knew how powerful we were, we would maybe accept the help a bit more. Um, but what I would say around if there's an area where you feel that um, you feel stuck actually is it's sometimes I'm not saying this is the answer for everybody but it's sometimes around this well it's this is if I do this or if I move forward I take this leap of faith what it's going to do is um well it's only there's a there's still a pattern and there's still a feeling well it happened like that before so it means that's the way it's going to go it's it's in the subconscious it's in the thought process it's it's in your belief system there and this cancer new moon is asking us to weed that out is to weed it out with roots um pull out the roots out of your garden i'm saying this metaphorically um it's also about caring empathy vulnerability intimacy it's about um changing moods, it's about sensitivity to other people's feelings, it's about tenderness, it's about awareness of needs. So if you are a kind, empathic, caring soul, what could be coming up around this new moon for you is the ability to help people without it affecting your vitality and your health and your needs. Um, because we can take care of others and it's about also being open to being taken care of others, but it's not it's never at the expense of ourselves so it's not um codependency which cancer can come come uh, cross over into so um around this area what i would say is cardinal um cancer is a cardinal sign so it likes to be in charge so if and this doesn't necessarily mean if somebody's a specific cancer sign or or, or they have a signature or anything like this but just in general, I would say if somebody is, they haven't graduated out of that childhood way of behaving, so there's a juvenile behind, way that they get their needs met, and, and a, lot of, a lot of ways this can happen is through the drama triangle, so persecutor, rescuer, and victim, and it's almost like fluctuating between those three archetypes and it's a very manipulative way to get what you want but this is where I mentioned I think in one of my posts on Facebook the other day that there's a lot of this energy around people manipulating and being deceptive to get what they want and it never ends well it never ends it doesn't it's just toxic so that's coming up it might not be for us we might be seeing it around us and this is where spirit is saying you know it's about being in environments that are reflective of who we are sometimes we get put in these environments to help others learn and heal and be the guide and be the teacher but again spirit is saying it's to know when it's at a, a greater long-term expense or expense to yourself and your vitality Cancer is very much learning to take responsibility for yourself and look after yourself. The inner divine mother um, that you have, that you have access to, to take care of you. So that's coming up as well. I'm just going to take a little sip of water. Um, I think that's it for now. So let's just see what Kuan Yin wants to bring through for us. So What's the message, please, Kuan Yin, for this new moon cancer, for the energies and messages that you want to bring through? So, the Tao. So, it may have, some of you may have read about the Tao Te Ching. I can never say that correctly. 
Um, I love these messages because with Kuan Yin, they're very much based upon, uh, they're very specific, but they're also very loving. Um, and out of respect for the author, I will often just read the messages out because they're so beautifully written and channeled by Alana Fairchild. So it's saying that the, the Tao is always flowing, always nourishing life into creation, always presenting steps and solutions and always reminding us that we are perfection in this moment. You are being guided to relax and allow life to flow. Again, cancer is a water sign. It's about trusting the flow of life. Uh, so this is about being invited into a more advanced spiritual cl classroom of the soul. So what they're saying is that that means that often we can go through a challenge. We can have a moment where we think we've got a human perspective that things are not working out. But what it is, is spirit preparing us for the next stage. Uh, sometimes we think that more advanced means more effort. And yet in spiritual matters, as we mature, we become more able to stop attempting to control. That's the cancer energy there. In its shadow and direct from more a more limited uh, sorry I'll repeat that uh, we become more able to stop attempting to control and direct from our more limited perspective and instead become open to receiving and being directed by higher forces which include our own divine essence at one with the source of all this does not mean that we become a loose leaf blown about by the winds of fate it means rather that we become like bamboo strong within ourselves and are able to move in this direction or that without losing our power. In fact, our flexibility can become part of what makes us a powerful instrument of divine creativity and healing. So I just think this is just a beautiful message. Again, it's why um, I love these cards. I will always pull a Kuan Yin card when I really want like that higher guidance. And because quite often the one card will just do it and I'll be like, yeah, you've just reminded me of where I am right now on my soul path. So the message here is the way is effortless, yet the journey to being able to surrender into the way, not always so effortless. We can make our molehills into mountains unintentionally. And so you are being asked to let go now to relax and allow life to do what it does, which is flow. Um, it flows through all situations and presents natural solutions. No matter how unsolvable these solutions may appear to be, it just needs to be allowed to do so. In a polite way, Kuan Yin is saying to us to get out of our own way if we are going through some challenges right now. And Spirit not saying they don't, they, it's not that they don't see them. What they're actually saying is that they want to help, but they want you to almost get out of the way and be more receptive. Again, water signs are all about receptivity right okay so let's get this show on the road guys and let's see what do they want to tell us so let's go now with uh mary magdalene so she wanted to talk to us first so what are the messages please for the cancer new moon i almost want to say a full moon as well so what i'm hearing is learn to be happy regardless of outside um, um, situations, but also there was another message that I got this morning, I'm just remembering it now, which was, think about the environments that you're in. So they gave me the example of, say, somebody that's in nursing or in the care world, and obviously they're tending to the sick and vulnerable patients, especially in what we've been going through recently. It's been a very difficult time for healthcare workers um, with limited resources that we're always told that they have as well. Um, so what Spirit is saying, it's so essential that people counteract that energy. So when they're away, when they're at home, and I, and I remember a nurse saying to me last year, she said, Ange, I really miss going out for a social drink and a meal on a Friday night with, with sometimes her colleagues or her friends because she said it was a way that she would decompress from the stress of the week. So when that, you know, let, letting her hair down, just having chats, company. So it's almost like to counteract that, to balance everything out. You're around a lot of people, you know, that are ill, that, you know, are need somebody to tend to every, every one of their basic needs is that it's so important that when you're out of that working environment, that there's an area where maybe you're around more health and vitality. 
however that looks is different for you, but it could be actions and choices that you make uh, or places that you go to or activities that you have which are very symbolic of health and wellness um, and, and that could even be like going and having a treatment or um, being in nature in the woods it could be going and doing some outdoor swimming something that promotes your health and wellness so that because you can't be in that position and not have the counteractive energy to balance out and again this is where spirit are coming through about cl cleaning out our psychic energy i actually had a dream last night which was very much about uh, a cleansing energy it wasn't a particularly nice dream but when i woke up i knew what had happened it had a big clearing of energy and it wasn't my energy it was energy that i'd absorbed from some people that i've been around um because being empathic we sometimes unbeknown to us can pick up those energies uh, our protection might be lower our immune system might be lower at that time we might have a lot of pressure or stress on us which lowers it down so again they're saying this if you are in an energy for instance if you're reading about a lot of negative stuff or you're looking for all these and there is a lot of deception in the world coming up you know i'm not in any illusion about that i live in the real world because spirit are very practical as well um, but there's very much an energy around where you, what you surround yourself with, you become even more so now. So if you're around a load of people that are just constantly looking for, say, um, negative news and negative energies, like, yes, there's a time and a place to see and uncover and reveal things. But if you're in that dark energy all the time, it will have an implication on you and there's no way around that. You have to be around light. You can hold your light in these energies, but you're not meant to stay in them. I think this is what they're trying to say. And obviously, when it comes to somebody's job, it's difficult. It's very difficult. I understand that some people have to work. Um, but Spirit are telling us that we do have more of choice um, and it does come down to trusting with them because um, often people shoot the messenger and say oh but you know it looks like this and then I'm like well this is where you adjust your energy internally um, and it's it, this is the spiritual path guys it's what, it's what we signed up to do um, but that doesn't mean if you're going through some a series of very difficult events that's when you call on more on the help a lot more on the help um, from them um, right, okay, so Mary Magdalene, is this Cancer New Moon? What would you like us to know? What are the messages? But sometimes it's nice to see the cards come out because you can see that I don't pick the cards, I just let them, they will talk to us in the way that they need to talk to us. So interestingly enough, this is the Kuan Yin card again, so she's come out twice today. So she's coming out as like the Divine Mother in the in the Mary Magdalene uh, pack. Yeah. Yeah. This is quite interesting actually because it wasn't what I was expecting to come out. So Cancerian New Moon can also be about mother healing. So I've got a really itchy nose there, so I'm trying to get my attention on something. So we've got Kuan Yin coming through here. It's all about compassion and it's and it's to take a, a step back and um, to take a pause. And we need a big dose of compassion, but also love and positivity. This is what I can see with these cards. And it's interesting actually, because the other night when I was in, I was in bed, gone to bed quite early and the match was on and I'm not a massive football person. Um, it wouldn't be my choice of sport, but I, I understand I've got friends who are really passionate about it. And there were people singing in the street and it's not really where I live. It's quite a, a, a quiet, peaceful area. Um, but somebody was having a bit of a party and the, the sound travels here because I'm quite high up where I live. Anyway, you know, maybe a few years back when i'm sleeping before going on a fly or something like this when i used to fly I'd be like oh just be quiet you know i want to get my sleep 
I was actually really happy to hear, I could hear laughter and fun and joy and people, people really want, you know, being in each other's company and enjoying each other's company. And I really feel like this, the great, um, I'd call it a joy actually that it's brought with the English football team and I mean some of the players are, are great people like Marcus Rashford is is such a, a, a decent human being the things that he's done for children so far and there's an element of seeing these um, a different side to football but also the the way that it brings people together like music can and you know group activities but just seeing, I think I saw on the news the other morning as well, I don't have a TV, so I won't be watching the match, but I will be, I'm sending out such positive vibes, is that um, just seeing a son and his dad at the football match, and you could just see like they've created a memory forever. They're on breakfast news or something. And they're just saying how the, the, the kid was like, it was awesome. And the dad, and like they'd had such a bonding experience. So I think this is what, really is to be really celebrated about football and sport at the moment is it's bringing some joy into people's lives again it's bringing some hope it's bringing some happiness and the cards that we've got here so we've got god and we've got universal christ so we've got the, the christ conscious energy around us at the moment we've got the war and peace card which for me is very much about the internal fight we have within ourselves and around this we've got the mythical reality card which I can honestly say that sometimes things are not what we think they are and this is not being about being like an illusion about situations around us but we've got the serendipity card here and we've also got the co-creation so I feel like what spirit are guiding us to do is that there are leaps of faith here that we can take but the mythical reality that we're creating but what spirit is saying as well is this is the this is the community that we are creating it's not just about me you or i separately anymore it's about us as a collective and they've been saying this for quite some time um so what are we contributing to this is where clearing our energy out especially our psychic energy what we are viewing with the media what we're seeing online and i have to say this that the media are part of the problem you know to get balanced reported news is it's it's very difficult to get um media now that's impartial that's that reports from both sides it's just we're told this and it's all very reactive and it's always based upon an underlying um intention fueled by money or by power or by control again that can be the shadow side of cancer is trying to control you know to get what you want and that's not going to bring us to this point of co-creation you don't need to behave like that to get what you want and the thing is where we are heading is this and if you don't believe this i would ask you i would come to ask you well what are you investing in where you don't believe in the Christ consciousness and that now I say Christ consciousness and people will see this as religious and it's not it's an energy of the ascended master of Jesus it's healing it's the divine masculine energy it's nothing to do with religion as Caroline Mai says religion is a costume party it's just dress up and she says that with the greatest respect because she's got a PhD in theology um, a, a genuine one it's not something where you go and buy the PhD online she has the written text, her books speak to her wisdom, her mystical wisdom. She is a wise mystic. So I feel what Spirit is saying here is that, again, to be creating what you want in your life, because um, Cancer is very receptive energy. We're also in, there's a lot of fire this month. I really got that July was going to be a lot of, a lot of energy of action of almost like obviously we're going into leo energy but it felt more like leo energy coming into Jul july to me than, than cancerian energy i felt that was more june i feel like the fire energy is here as well because i kept seeing fire for july um so there is an opportunity to to create here not from the past of well you know 
if I take this leap of faith, well, like, I, I'm coming, my energy is coming from a place of based upon my historical experience of the past and that's not so because again the mythical, the mythic reality that we create, can you see there's almost like two paths on this card, there's a faint one here that gets you there and then there's a bright one there that just goes straight round and onto the rainbow. Um, and I'm just gonna read this mythic reality card to you again. I like to have a bit of a nod to um, to the author. It's interesting actually that Kuan Yin's come out twice. She's, she's guiding us to be kinder to ourselves in our mode of transport, of how we're navigating our life at the moment. So it's saying here, something is causing you concern at present because you're viewing the situation from only one perspective. Look with an open heart and mind and you may see that a positive side also exists. Things may very well turn in your favour if you let go of preconceived ideas and rigid views. There are at least two perspectives from which to view every situation. What you see at present is only part of the picture. Often what seems real to us may not necessarily be what is actually occurring. The true purpose of many of life's events is often unclear because of our false assumptions, fears and misconceptions. There is no need for concern, just allow things to naturally unfold and all will become clear to you. Remember, you may not have the power to change the world or many of the events in your life, but you have the power to change your perception of them. And what Spirit is saying is what's really going on, because I always trust them with their messages, is this co-creation going on and it's and it's serendipity is available to you again these are very there's lots of warmth in these cards with the yellow and the orange it's like a nod to uh the sacral chakra and the solar plexus chakra um yeah and i like to see this god card as like look at all the energy in that card all all the almost like the ideas these are like creative ideas in this in this card sent from above if you knew that you had all of this available to you to download energetically from spirit how different would you feel yeah so that's our cards guys from mary magdalene thank you so much i thought she might put in an appearance but kwan yin seems to want to come through today so i'm just going to pop those cards aside and then what would you like okay so we're going to go now with the muse so i'm just going to change positions a little bit just so i um can stretch my legs out here while i do the cards oh that really wants to um that card wants to fall out but right muse so what would you like to bring forth uh for us as messages for july and this new moon in cancer Strength for the emotions, Emperor and the Muse of Emotions. Okay, right. So this is definitely a new um it's a new emotional cycle opening up to us, okay. Uh okay, yeah, lots of emo lots of cups cards here. Right, they're also telling me to bring through okay. Ooh, okay. Very interesting. I think a lot of you by now used to seeing these muse cards as well. So the king of emotions is crowning the cards here. So it's saying that um, this is about um, opening up to a new emotional cycle, but this is much more, this is an evolved emotional cycle. So for some people, this is going to be the preparation for a, a new uh, partnership in their lives that's based upon balance that's pe that's based upon a much more emotionally mature um i don't want to say agreement but understanding between two souls um again there's a nod to the sea that i just love these cards i could just literally sit with them and channel forever because there's just so much going on in there for some people it will mean going uh, for a journey over water uh, but also this is a nod to the healing power of water because we've got the four of emotions here So the four of emotions the four of cups can almost be like focused on what we don't have and not seeing that that they're actually 
we're actually sat in a big massive cup but yet we're kind of we're not seeing what's in front of us that could be available to us we're still this isn't this is for me a bit like focusing on the past they're saying to me they want me to read this card out so I will do because again Chris Ann's words are just so beautiful um, I've just got some clearing music in the background guys so this really helps with um, sound is always a great way to tune up your energy again tuning fork sound crystals water I mean there's just so many different ways which one will be or a combination of them will be right for you with your own energy field um, yeah yeah so this is the card of missing out on the wonderful things in front of you boredom dissatisfaction seeking better opportunities failing to see the bigger picture a time for contemplation and, and meditation and this is interesting because we've also got the hermit card which is the card of virgo which is about going within and and actually finding the light within uh she sits in a giant energetic cup her fourth cup, her best cup, but when she counts her blessings, she sees only three. Other people have four goblets that she can clearly see, and here she is stuck in a life of three. She sighs, hoping she will someday find a fourth. She closes her eyes and asks the muse to help her find her magic blessings, no answer. Nothing but the waves lapping up against lap, lap, and lap. What is it that they are lapping up against? The muse laughs and blows bubbles from below, changing the angle of the sunlight just a little. I love this. Just enough for her to see her fourth cup in the glistening rays. Daughter, you are the fourth cup. In this way, the muse reminds you that you too are the blessing you're seeking. You are living within your own treasure chest and you just need to change your perspective to see it. Wow, again, a double message here, it's something that needs to be um, reiterated out there. Again, it's about it's about sharing and spreading the love, guys, and it's about lifting each other up. This is not a criticism in any way to say that, oh, what you're doing is wrong. It's about saying, look, there is another way, and we're just here to, we're here to tune up your energy, get that light, let's just um, tune up our vibration and our energy. And if you're in an environment where you don't belong anymore, you'll get signs you're not meant to stay there. And yes, it will be uncomfortable. And yes, it might be like, oh my God. But also you can exit a situation at the speed which feels right to you. It's really important to know, to, to, to tell you this as well. Give yourself permission this. So the last section on the card is, and then the moment of slowing down, it's time to muse the muses and see the bubbling joy that lives with one who seeks and chooses. I don't think I need to say anymore. And I've got to say around this to support all of us is the strength card, which is basically the you can do it card. You know, the protection of the lion, we're coming up to lion's gate, 888, um, not 888, sorry. I say that because it's a, it's a powerful number for me, that 888. Um, that was a year when my life changed forever in, in a good way um, so we've got the the power of eight which is the, the symbol of infinity which is forever this is like the strength your soul will always always crack open to the lights it doesn't matter however things may seem hard and they will be on this path they will and as you evolve and grow on your path spirit will bring in another learning exercise because your soul loves this your humanness won't <laughs> but also when you come out of the experience you will learn that it was it, it will have brought something for you for your growth it will have brought you um strength on some front and i always remember when i, I you know this last decade for me was very 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 challenging probably I don't I don't even want to say it's the most challenging so I'm not I don't want to view it like that but when I was in it it was never ending but actually where I'm at now and the vantage point because can you see where this lady is she can see because she can see the bigger picture in this card is that it was the absolute making of me now I am not a person to be messed with and I mean that with the greatest respect I would never do anything to intentionally harm another human being. 
but I will not have anybody trample over myself or my integrity as a person, as a soul, as a human being. And I wouldn't want that for anybody else either. So, you know, again, nod to ancient Egypt here and the strength of going into, maybe going into a portal of the lion's um, gate, which is what this is all linked into ancient Egypt. And it's also to, to activate the power animal of the lion in your life to come in and protect you and to guide you on the next few steps. And around this, I love this, is the emperor. So you see, what I love about um, these cards, are that there's a nod to the divine feminine in a lot of these cards, but what I love about the, um, what I love about the Mary Magdalene Oracle is that there are a nod to the divine masculine. So there's a lot of balance here with what the spirit are talking about. So the emperor for me here coming through is, is talking about self-employment. It's about uh, entrepreneurship. It's about taking charge. It's about connections to be made. This is root chakra energy meeting and greeting new connections to come in. We can't see them yet, can you see? I'm just gonna put this up to the camera a little bit more. But there are people at the bottom of that card and some of them, the connections have been illuminated but there's more to come. And you see the Emperor card on here, that they know that this is on the way. They're, they're, they're almost like freestyling. They're like, yeah, you know, bring it on, uh, I know. And this is like, it's an Aries energy and Aries just knows, Aries will act without fear or worry often. Sometimes sometimes it can be a little bit impulsive and going at all guns blazing, but I don't get this energy with this card. I feel like action will be taken at the right time because the adjustment of the perspective happens because you're being guided that whatever is coming up emotionally is to serve you. And the strength card is only bringing in uh, that vantage point with the opening of your perspective. And then this is almost like the first chakra stuff. So this is the building of the foundations. It's the, it's, you know, the taking stock. It's actually the doing of the daily life activities. And it's, excuse my language, but getting shit done when it needs to get done. And what's brilliant about this is we've got the Knight of Materials as the grounding card. So this is about um, finding your place, finding your space. Again, New Moon in Cancer is about finding somewhere to live. It's about, um, so say if you've got a perspective on like, well, there's nothing, there's this, there's that. I mean, I, before I moved here, I was the same. I was like, how the hell am I gonna find somewhere? And I just got this overwhelming feeling, look, it will come through, it will happen. I had my plan in place if things had to be last minute. And of course with spirit, it's always last minute because they just know, look, we've got to get everything lined up and it's like a game of dominoes then, it just, everything falls and then the portal opens up and it's just go, 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 go. So nights are always, um, pages are more like the delivery of news, but nights are the arrival of something. So bring it in materials again, it's first and second chakra, so it's about our physical foundation, it's about our, um, it's the material world, so it's about support, security, um, it's about building, it's about receiving, it's about finances. Um, beautiful, beautiful picture, so again, that can be open to interpretation with your situation, right? So we've got around this um, four of materials. I, I've got to say, I feel like this is a repeat of the pattern. So the hermit card is about taking that time to go within. <clears throat> so I'm hearing this is more to do with um, remembering to uh, retreat from the external uh nonsense of life and what I mean by this is like the messages, the um, the narrative, the information that isn't always based in um, truth, uh, moving away from deception and going in and trusting your own, um, your own light to guide you and um, Ten of Emotions is, I mean this is like literally if I could pick a song for this, it's like Dancing Queen, it's happiness. It's, I mean, the Ace of Cups, 
which will be the ace of um, um, which would be the muse of emotions in this card deck is um <clears throat> sorry it's not actually i can't remember what it is in this card deck the ace um but this is peak emotional experiences for me as much as the ace of cups is but the ace of cups will be a new cycle a new beginning um but I feel like this is more about having celebrations, having fun, having a laugh, um, not raining on somebody's parade. Um, it's also for me not afraid to to take risks and um, yeah, to have fun. This is like the card of fun. And we've got around this, the four of materials which is, again, it's a lovely card, the Four of Materials. Um, I'm just trying to think, let me pop that down. I just want to see what the Ace is in these cards, the Knight, the Queen and the Muse. I don't actually think that they've got that in this deck. Oh yeah, they've, got, they've actually got the Ace, sorry. I don't know why, that just went out of my mind there, but there we go. Um, so we want the Four of Materials, which would be the Four of Pence in the traditional tarot. So uh, this is a nod to really finances and savings. It's about creating solid foundations. Um, it's This is time to step into an abundance mindset. So this could be for a section of people. Um, it's letting go, building for the future. It's protect, protection and generosity. You can actually see the camel in the background there. And you know, camels save water. Um, they conserve for the future. It's safety, it's backup. Uh, the secret stash of I'm okay. Um, it's a, this is a card of safety for some people. You have the whole universe inside of you again and nod to that four of emotions card. And you can build and make more at any time. It's never too late. The museum reminds you that you two are always safe. And that while material extras are always nice to have, build and watch, they're not all necessary for your joy. So the thing is, if you're going through a spate, and I had this for a good few years where it wasn't like I was earning money, and what it was was I was supposed to go through a dark night of the soul, or I was supposed to go through a learning experience that had to, so they had to take me out of the general um, uh, path of life while I learned things that are now helping me to teach and guide others through those experiences. And I can't put a price on that, I can't put an amount of money that, that experience has set me up for the rest of my life to handle other things and disappointments because actually when you come out of something and then you start to have your healing process so you allow yourself to rest and recharge that's when your resilience gets built back up so we've got around this again the six of emotions so now the six of cups in the tarot as well can be about soulmates uh is this is next to the ten of emotions card so this can be about um soulmates where their inner child recognizes the other inner child of their soulmate when they meet and it's just a really joyous beautiful experience the six of emotions can be perceived in this deck as being um i wouldn't say a negative card but like a almost like um it can be seen as, sometimes as a sad picture but i, I don't get the energy with this card I feel it's about connecting with your inner child and your future self. Because if you look at the child in there, I love this picture of her, so I'm gonna bring this up really close. Can you see, she is just having the best time, but the adult is like, well, where am I in this? Like, I, if this is me now in this card, I really wanna connect with that kid inside me. Because you know what, how much fun is she to be around? And I think those of you that have children will know this about how kids will get, they'll get you out of your funk quite quickly, won't they? Um, like one of my my little um, friends, so one of my friends has a, um, um, a kid who is just hilarious. She'll send me messages and I just think, and I save them, I keep them because, you know, if I'm having a day and I just feel a bit nostalgic and I think, or, and then like or little pictures and things. I'll, I'll scroll through and I'll listen to her messages and they just, they just make me feel happy like immediately. So I think if we knew that our inner child is another access point for us to understand that this is how we heal, but it's also how we 
connect to the joy, fun, loving, uh, carefree part of ourselves. And I'm not being funny, I think many of us need a bit of this right now because it's been, you can't do this and you can't do that kid. It's just like, well, I've got my suitcase and you can just, because I'm not having any of that. And I've got literally the universe, a planet in my hand. So I think that's a nod. And also that's the link for the relationship and the happiness and the celebrations is the inner child. So, and I think this is what makes a really beautiful relationship between two people is that they're both their inner child can come out and feel safe and play, be vulnerable and have fun together. Because really, all we, all humans want is another person that sees them, that has the ability to give love, that they have the ability to receive love in that, in that relationship. And also, that they can just have a laugh together. There's nothing worse than being with somebody who's just like, again, raining on your parade. If you've ever had a relationship with somebody like when you're being a bit daft and kooky and they just will not, it's like, no, 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 no. It's like they're maybe a controlling person. And it's like, if they see you having fun, they almost have to rain on your parade. No, thank you very much. We're not repeating those experiences because we are the 10 of emotions, guys. And I think this is what this reading is about today. What spirit are bringing through, which they will often do with, with clients, is they will bring them the future self of what's around them that they can't yet see. And they're just reminding them of the reality of what they can create. And this is not about magical thinking, guys. I've done readings for years, and the amount of times my amazing clients will send me a message two years later, a year later, it might not have happened on their time frame. And I just love, as a conduit, as a, as a messenger of spirit, I am so blessed to work with them because I get to deliver these messages that are for these people to tell them about the life that they can create and then they do it and you just it's like the best part of the role it's what brings me joy seeing somebody create that joy in their life and yes it's not always a bed of roses even though we've got plenty of roses in this card there are times where we do need to sit in this where while we are clearing this psychic energy of an old portal that is closing down which has provided us with some learning but we're now ready to move on right so that's there thank you muse for those amazing messages they're always very powerful and they're always very true right where's my pack on there we go so now we're going to move on to tarot and I'm just going to ask about the shadow for cancer is there anything that spirit would like to bring through they want us to know with the shadow that's so funny the devil cards are don't worry it's all good okay right so the shadow side what would you like us to know this cancer new moon because it could be this is what we're clearing or what they want to help us with five six seven um okay Four of Cups again, and the Nine of Pence. Okay, right. They're just saying there's one more. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Right, okay. That page of Swords isn't coming into the reading. They just said to me, you don't bring that energy in. It's just, it's just a heads up, right. So the crowning card here is Justice, which is Balance. So this is like the, the card of Libra, the Scales. Uh, so justice will be done, is what I'm hearing. Not on our time, which can be the frustrating bit, but remember the message again, that will be a message for somebody specific. It's a reminder that, you know, it's not to put life on hold, it's to keep going. You're, again, there's a big learning here that our happiness is not dependent on what some people are doing to us, even though there's a period where that can be really difficult. If we're dealing with a legal case, or if we're dealing with a really abusive person on the side, who we have now removed out of our lives, what Spirit are reminding us is this, that's when we need help, we need support, we need professional support, we need healing support, um, in whatever forms that we need, do not be afraid to reach out and, and ask for it. Right, so shadow side, the devil, uh, you know, being chained, uh, feeling that there's only one way, uh, feeling that, the, the control this is like this is the card of Capricorn but 
And the thing is like Capricorn is so much more than like the devil card because also the devil card can be good for being wanting to be focused and to um, in some spreads it can actually not indicate marriage that's more the heroophant but it can um, it can also be interpreted about staying the course and not being swayed off the course by other people um, it's, a, it's being over controlled but you see next to this we've got the magician card again and nod to the number eight um, the magician on the table there he has everything that he needs or they need to uh, create the change in their life that they uh, need to move away from this old energy okay this fixed old energy that's no longer needed so what's interesting around this is we've got the seven of cups so the seven of cups can can often be about um, illusions and having too many choices um, but it can also mean about important decisions needing to be made and it's about doorways of opportunity being opened but it's about trusting your intuition to know what's right for you but what you've got around this is the king um, the knight of swords so things coming in quickly so solutions coming in very quickly whatever they might may be this month or after this new moon but also like i feel like with the knight of swords is it's coming in it's taking out what's not needed so there's an element here to call on spirit to say well look i've got all these choices i don't know where to start i'm stuck so like being shown what doesn't feel right what what doesn't what what does excuse me but a clearing of the psychic energies will facilitate that so clearing your psychic energy from interference from outside from control aspects from any shadow energies of cancer which can be a uh, codependency it can be um like one experience that i had with with somebody in particular was that if you give them feedback they just cancel you so it's like you can't have a conversation an adult conversation with this person and balance it's like their wounded child will will rule the roost and it's like well if i actually just say to you like i cannot meet your needs because you're what you're expecting me to do is not even you know, somebody's like in that position you it, it's not your job it's not our job to fix people guys it's really not this is all about balance it's about bringing a bit of balance into our lives this month um even though we're not in the time of libra so it's not for us people have to figure stuff out in their own time it's their soul growth because actually we can be part of the problem by enabling them um and we've got the king of cups around this so which is showing me that the uh the psychic not psychic wisdom but the divine wisdom so this is scorpio pisces and cancerian energy but it's also um deep intuitive knowing with the king it's divine masculine yes i know what to do i'll take action on that so there's an element of stripping away and and clearing out uh the unnecessary here around it and then what's interesting is is we've again got um, I was going to say the Four of Pence then, but we've actually got the Four of Cups again, um, which is new interests, activities and friends. It could be also new starts. Um, again, it's like a new view. The Four of Emotions in the Muse is the Four of Cups, so the same card. So again, we're getting a lot of rep repetitive messages here. Again, it's just to show us like we don't have to do it that way. And then what we've got here is the nine of pentacles so the nine of pentacles actually is about comfort it's about enjoyment prosperity good sense and financial shrewdness it's about good administration of resources and shows that relaxation relaxation is now possible after work it's about um connection this card can sometimes mean new furniture as well and connection with gardens so again it's like um nines are are often like we've got to the end of a learning and we don't have to do it anymore so this is a bit like resting relaxation it's time out it's about enjoying life uh the first and second chakra even up to third chakra and fourth chakra so it's about sharing um resources and our time uh what we're building what we're doing with those that we love it's actually 
I don't want to say stop and pause, but there was a link to that before, wasn't there, with the Muse cards. Um, yeah, so those are the tarot cards. So let's just... Um, so they're just saying, let's pull one more Magdalene card uh, for uh, New Moon and for July onwards until when they want to next share messages. What would you like to bring through, Mary Magdalene? What's our one card that you want to to close down the reading there we go oh that's gorgeous well if anybody was wondering about relationship but again this can be relationship to self reconnection it's all about healing intimacy as well sacred sexuality so sacred sexuality the card is about deep openness and vulnerability being able to be vulnerable and intimate with somebody that you trust but if we don't know thyself, um, we're always looking for outside elements to validate us and acknowledge us, that's the type of relationship that we will attract in. So this is just saying that, um, okay, I'm just gonna tune in a little bit. It's so funny because Mary Magdalene, again, is one of my guides, like she's with many of you, and she's saying that it's like if you say it's on its way they'll be like when when but she's saying that's kind of not where i'm coming from on this um yeah she wants to just slightly talk about this but she's saying this is another video and and she's <laughs> she's going to give me a little bit of time i think in the next few weeks to do some videos on these areas so um the sacred sexuality card is about, um, she wants to talk about the recognition, the knowing of partners who are, so this is in a uh, raw sexuality where with somebody it's, of course it's passionate and it's um, fiery and it's, it's, it's beyond that. It's a complete um, divine union connection and she's saying it does defeat all odds. So a lot of people are like, well, I'm never gonna meet somebody. And what she's saying is that these types of partnerships require a lot of, um, uh, for, for some people, where they'll do the work together, but for before they come together, they will have gone through quite a few challenges. So that when they meet each other and what they're, they're almost like their eye recognition, their energetic recognition, they just know each other. And I'm just going to say this, like, and it's not meant to sound sexual, but down to the smell, the pheromones and a, a knowingness that's quite powerful. And she's just giving me like, I'm feeling really hot now. Um, and it's not like hot and bothered or anything like that. There's just an absolute recognition when you're going to meet this person that this person is going to be somebody very, very, and I know a lot of people get this before they meet their life partner, but she's saying that there is the partners that are coming together now, she's saying they've had to do the work, so they haven't met in traditional circumstances or um, points in their lives so you might be younger you might be older you might be like i'm never going to meet somebody it might be um it might be after a, a period of torment and you are like i don't think i want to trust again and you're working on your intimacy issues um and what she's saying is this these partnerships they're, they're beyond they're definitely like quite galactic in nature but she's saying there's a blending of the galactic energies as well she's also saying that there's a lot of um she said on 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 the on the earth with very there's still a lot of focus on how people look and she said these relationships are not based upon that she's not denouncing the fact that we, we take care of ourselves and our bodies, we respect the vessel that we're in, in this life. But she's saying that there is an acknowledgement between these souls that's beyond, it's like from the stars. I know I might be sounding a bit thingy guys, but it's what she's saying. And you know, you could be going to the gym, building your muscles or trying to get this and whatever, but she's saying 
the, these are partnerships that they will be through. You'll be there for each other through thick and thin and not through codependency. So you're not glued together by the hip because you've got, you need each other. You've, all, you've already got to that place in your life. She's saying the way that you will know this is that you like being with yourself. You like your own company. And she's saying for the pandemic, for whatever reason, people might not agree with me on this. Sorry guys, I think my computer is just about to go off there. Just let me check. No, it's still going. It's still going, sorry. I just had to, went onto screensaver there. So excuse me, I'm just getting you, you're getting a little picture of me in the background there. But what she's saying is, is that, um, yeah, it's time to go now. <laughs> it's time to go, I'm just over an hour. Is um, She's just saying that this will have, maybe these partners will have had to have gone through the, co the, the learning of codependency, but they've done it. They don't want to come together on that basis. Uh, but they will, yeah, they will be there throughout whatever happens and still have the passion because it's not based on a 3D reality, it's based upon something else. I'm sorry, I'm probably not making any sense here, but I can see the energy, it's just, you know, it's kind of hard to explain. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it on this note because I think this is a beautiful way to end this message for July. Sorry there about the whole camera thing messing around, but I think my computer, my camera, uh, tends to go off after an hour and I really don't wanna lose the, the uh the video here guys so sending you lots of love don't forget to take care of your body sacred sexuality as well is about honoring your divine masculine divine feminine there's definitely um a message here about um an, a, an internal upgrade and that might mean um it's definitely about energetic upgrade and, and psychic health um, and that will also reflect in your physical health. So I'm sending you lots and lots of love. If you want to like and share this video, please do. Again, I'm not on the algorithm, so I am gonna actually ask people now to please share and like my work if you don't mind, because I would like to, I'd just like to help whoever needs the help. That's where I'm coming from, it's where I will always come from. So lots of love, lots of heart-filled light into your life this month, and I will be back soon. Take care.